Hi guys, it's Maya. Today I am starting my series on care packages. There's going to be five videos in this series, including this one. And today's video is going to be a little bit about getting started on care packages, the packing supplies that you need, and just what you need to know in the beginning. The next video is going to be on what to put in care packages. Um, after that is going to be about decorating care packages, which is going to be really fun then how to fill out customs forms, and finally how to prepare your care packages for shipping. Um, so this series is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna go into a lot of detail about care packages so that you know all that you need to know about it. So I'm just gonna get into it. And the first thing that you're gonna need when making care packages are some boxes. Um, there's three main options when it comes to choosing what to ship your care packages. And the first one is the one that I use and the one that I recommend. And that's the flat rate boxes from USPS. Uh, I recommend these for two reasons. The first one is that if it fits, it ships. And that's really helpful for if you're trying to send a lot of items or if you're sending heavier items because instead of the box being priced by weight, um, it's priced by the size of the box. So that's really helpful. And the second reason is that it's free. Uh, you can go into any post office and pick these boxes up and it's not gonna cost you anything. So that's a huge bonus, especially if you're trying to do care packages on a budget. The second option when doing care packages is you can reuse um, an old box that you have sitting around, kind of like this one. Um, the only thing is if you decide to use one of these boxes, it is going to be priced by the weight of the box and you also have to cover up any markings on the box. So it's kind of more complicated and that's another reason that I recommend the flat rate boxes. And the third option is USPS actually offers a military kit and what it includes is some different size boxes, some packing tape, some customs forms. Um, and some shipping labels. So that's not something that I personally use just because I think it's a lot easier and a lot more efficient to go to the post office, pick up the supplies you need instead of having extra supplies laying around that you may or may not use. Um, I personally like to use these large flat rate boxes from USPS because they can fit a lot in them and they're also really easy to decorate. Um, they're pretty spacey. As you can see, they're pretty big once they're put together. So that's the reason that I really like to use um, the large flat rate boxes, but if you're sending not as many things, you can also use the small boxes, the medium boxes, they have different sizes. Um, the next thing that you're going to need are some customs forms. Now this only goes if you're sending care packages to an overseas address. And if you're sending one within the US, you don't have to worry about this part, which is really good for you because these are kind of a pain. So you're gonna need some customs forms. And I recommend when you go to the post office, picking up five to 10 of these, a good handful, um, because I mess up on them a lot. And they're, they're made on carbon paper, so whatever you print on the first page is gonna only need to copy onto the next pages. And if you make a mistake, you can erase it. So I would recommend picking up several of those when you go to the post office. Uh, the other thing you're gonna need is some packing tape. And if you do order the military kit, you don't have to worry about picking up any of this stuff separately. You can just call the phone number that I'll put in the description box and they'll send all of that to you for free. So, but if you're not, you need some packing tape. And I recommend getting a lot of it because I tape the crap out of my boxes. Um, I put a lot of tape on them because they have a long ways to go to Afghanistan and I don't want them opening or getting ripped open or anything like that. Um, and the final thing that you're going to need as far as packing supplies goes is something to fill in the extra spaces or protect breakable items in your care packages. Um, I have a huge roll of bubble wrap and I use that to fill in spaces or to wrap things that might crush or break so that way they get there in one piece. Other people can use um, newspaper, wrapping paper, you can use um, even crumpled up plastic grocery bags. I know some people have used that, so you just need something to fill in the extra spaces so that your stuff doesn't move around or get broken on the way there. So um, I'm really looking forward to doing this series and I think it's going to be a lot of fun showing you how to make care packages and what needs to go in them. And one other thing that's really important 
there is going to be a giveaway during this series. I'm not going to tell you when because I want you to watch the videos, but there is going to be a giveaway, so stay tuned to find out when that's going to be, um, and that'll be really fun. So make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe and please share our video. We're trying to make this channel huge and reach a lot of people. So if you could tell your friends, tell your family, and also subscribe so that you stay up to date on the videos that we're going to be making, that would be super helpful and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye!